welcome to this tutorial guys in the last tutorial we looked at interior angles and we saw how the sum of interior angles are related to the number of sides of the respective polygon in this tutorial we'll be looking at exterior angles and seeing the relationship between the sum of exterior angles and the sides of a polygon okay so what is an exterior angle well if you take any side and you extend the line the angle between that extended line and the line next to the side is the exterior angle okay and it's called the exterior angle because it's exterior to the interior angle and these are other exterior angles of this polygon now when looking at exterior angles it's important to look at them in one direction so as you can see we're looking at the exterior angles in the anti-clockwise direction you could also look at the exterior angles in the clockwise direction so these are also exterior angles of the same polygon now as you can see the interior and the exterior angle lie on the same straight line and the property that angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees gives us our first formula that the interior angle plus the exterior angle of a polygon is equal to 180 degrees. There's another interesting property about exterior angles and that's that the sum of exterior angles of a polygon is equal to 360 degrees. Now this is only true for polygons that are not dented. Okay, there's a special word for that called convex. So here's an example of a four-sided polygon which is not dented versus a four-sided polygon which is dented. So this formula would only be true for this type of polygon. Now this formula does indeed work for a non-dented polygon with any number of sides. And hopefully this animation is a good illustration of this. Let's have a look at a question. Below is a regular polygon. Part A asks us to calculate the size of each interior angle. Okay, so firstly we've been told that this is a regular polygon, which means that each interior angle is going to be equal. So we just need to find the size of one interior angle in order to find the size of each interior angle. Now, as you can see, we've been given that the exterior angle is equal to 15 degrees and if we let i be the interior angle then by using equation 1 i plus 15 degrees is equal to 180 degrees as the angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees and rearranging for i we get that the size of each interior angle is equal to 165 degrees the next part asks us to find the number of sides of the regular polygon. Now an important property you should be aware of is that the number of sides of a regular polygon is equal to the number of exterior angles of that polygon. Okay, so we're going to use this to find out the number of sides. So if we let n be the number of sides, then as said before, n would also be equal to the number of exterior angles. So if we can find the number of exterior angles of this polygon, then we can find the number of sides. Now using what we've just learned before in equation two, that the sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees, well it means that 15 degrees plus 15 degrees plus 15 degrees and so on will equal to 360 degrees at some point. Now the number of times we need to add 15 degrees to each other is equal to the number of exterior angles and so we can form this equation that 15 degrees times by n which is the number of exterior angles is equal to 360 degrees. Dividing 15 degrees by both sides we get that n which is the number of exterior angles is equal to 24 and therefore the number of sides is equal to 24. And just by looking at this part of the example, 
we can form another equation which is general for all polygons and that's that 360 degrees divided by the number of sides is equal to an exterior angle of the polygon. Let's have a look at the next question. The diagram shows two identical regular polygons shape A and an equilateral triangle. Calculate the number of sides of each shape A. Okay, so here we have a diagram which shows two identical regular polygons which are joined by an equilateral triangle. And we've been asked to calculate the number of sides of each shape A. Now in the previous question, we learned that in order to find the number of sides of a regular polygon, all we needed was an exterior angle. So if we can find an exterior angle of the shape A, then we can find the number of sides. Okay. Now as both of these identical shapes have been joined by an equilateral triangle, well we know the properties of an equilateral triangle. All the angles inside an equilateral triangle are equal to 60 degrees. And therefore, half of this angle would be equal to 30 degrees, which happens to be the exterior angle of the shape A. And so as we now have the exterior angle of the shape A, we can now find the number of sides by using the equation 3 here, which gives us that the number of sides of shape A is equal to 360 degrees divided by 30 degrees, which is equal to 12. So the number of sides of the shape A is equal to 12. I hope that was useful for you. Keep up the good work and I will see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.